Hi, this is Chris with 7Spark, and today I'm going to walk you through the installation and setup of Ubermenu. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you have your Ubermenu support guide open. Uh, this can be found at wpmegamenu.com slash help. You'll always find the latest version there. Or you can use the one that's included with your download zip in the help directory. So we just go down to installation and setup. And we're just going to walk right through these steps. So first we've logged into our WordPress admin panel. Then we go to plugins, add new. Then we click upload. And then at this point you can either hit choose file which will open a, a file picker where you can navigate through your, uh, your files to choose the one you want. Or you can just drag it over there and then you click install now okay so uber menu is now installed and if we come over to, over to our plugins page you'll see uber menu has shown up we just click activate so now uber menu is installed and activated but it hasn't actually done anything yet if we look at our front page you'll see that we just have this is the standard menu for this really basic theme that I have for uh, for the tutorial site and you can see we've just got our normal flyout menus here. So we actually have to configure Uber menu to target a specific menu on the site and turn it into a mega menu. So as soon as you finish installing Uber menu, you'll get this tour that pops up and it'll walk you through what you need to do. So first we need to create a menu. Right now we already have a menu created, but you can create another you can create a new one if you want or you can use your existing one. Then we have to choose which theme location to set this menu as. This is just standard WordPress procedure with WordPress 3 menus. And for our primary menu location, we choose test, which is the name of this menu that we've created. Next. Then we actually have to tell Uber menu which theme location we want it to turn into a mega menu. We can only choose one because you can only have one mega menu on a page. Um, so we've set our primary menu as test. So the primary menu is the location that we want to turn into an Uber menu. So we just check that off. Now, in some themes you'll have only one option. In some themes you'll have multiple options. And then we click save. Now at this point, because we've told it to make the primary menu a mega menu, if we go and refresh our home page, you'll see that we now have a mega menu here. This is Uber menu has taken over control of the menu. So if we finish this tutorial here, we now go over to the Uber menu options. We can choose that we want this to be a horizontally aligned or horizontally oriented menu. We're going to leave jQuery enhancements on. And then down here you can see that you've got a bunch of quick links. So if you want to get to the support manual or the FAQs or get over to the support forum, or if you ever want to restart a tour, you can just click these links really easily right here. So now I'm going to click End Tour. That makes the those dialogues go away, but if you ever want to reference them again, you can just click Restart Tour. So at this point, Uber Menu is all set up. And we can do a lot more configuration in here. But one thing you'll want to do is go to your Menus page. And then we're going to continue following these instructions here. So once we've created a menu, we need to actually tell it which menu items should be mega menus. So if we expand here, I know it's called flyout, we can open up the Uber menu specific options for this menu item. And we can say activate mega menu. That's going to turn flyout sub menu into a mega menu instead of a flyout menu. So before I save this, you can see that flyout is a flyout menu. See how it flies out to the right like that. But once we click activate mega menu and then save it, and go back and reload. Flyout menu is now mega menu. And you can see that those first those that first level of drop downs has now become headers in this in the mega sub menu. Okay? And we'll go through a lot more of this stuff in the next tutorial, but those are the basics for setting up a mega menu with Uber menu. So, hope that helps and thanks for watching.